Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, got a video that's something a little bit different than what I usually do. As you may know, I'm a bit of a wrestling fan. There is a big pay-per-view that's coming up. Uh, obviously, it's called WrestleMania, if you didn't know. Um, so I thought I'd do a WrestleMania prediction as to what the matches are right now. Right, so first off we've got uh, the tag team match of AJ Lee and Paige versus the Bella Twins. Now this feud's been going on for months. Uh, it's been Nikki Bella, the better looking of the two, uh, who's going out with John Cena. Uh, feuding with Paige, who's pretty cool herself. Um, I like Paige because she's from England, uh, so it's awesome that there's an English diva over there who's making waves. Fair enough that Brie, Bella got involved because the sisters and all that stuff that's going on. Uh, but what I don't agree is why they brought AJ Lee back. Um, so what they could have done is could have had like Paige versus Nikki for the title. Uh, I think that would have been fine. However, they've changed it and put it as a tag team match. Well, I think it's wrong. I think they should have just had it as like the divas title uh, on the line. WrestleMania, Paige versus Nikki. So I think something's going to happen there, maybe a twist or a turn, maybe AJ is going to turn on her. Or maybe they're even going to put the title on the line at Raw the, the next night. But I think uh, I think it's going to be AJ and Paige win against Nikki and uh, Brie Bella. Next match I've got on the WWE website is Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. Now, Seth Rollins has turned into a bit of a bitch. He's got uh, the authority behind him. Yeah, he's... he's Every time he's on the microphone, I fast forward because it's just boring as fuck. They broke up the uh, the shield. He went on to the authority. Uh, so did Randy Orton, which was fair enough. You know, he plays a good bad guy. Um, and yeah, it was predictable that they were going to have uh, a match. Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins at Mania. Uh, as soon as he curb stomped him through the uh, stairs. So I think it's going to be a Randy Orton. I think it's a good versus evil. Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. And I think it's going to be a Randy Orton win. Um, I don't see Seth coming out of it uh, with the victory at all. So Randy Orton for me on that one, I think. Now you've got Brock Lesnar uh, against Roman Reigns for the World Heavyweight title. This one, same again, I think it's quite obvious. Uh, it annoys me that there isn't a WWE title on Raw constantly. I think, like John Cena, he comes out every week. You know, he'll throw the belt around and all that sort of stuff, which is good. This one, I think it's going to be obvious as well. Roman Reigns is going to beat Brock Lesnar, title is going to be you know, constantly on Raw. Uh, so yeah, Brock Lesnar is going to be a good match, it's going to be interesting. Um, but they've got to try and put Roman Reigns over Brock Lesnar, which is going to be interesting because Brock Lesnar is just a beast and Roman Reigns isn't a beast. He's a big guy, Roman Reigns, you know, he's athletic and he can throw some good punches, but against Brock Lesnar, no. So somehow it's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. But it's going to be a Roman Reigns win, I think, there. Uh, next match they've got is the Vigilante versus the King. So it's Sting versus Triple H. Uh, once again, this is an obvious one. Triple H hasn't won a match at WrestleMania in years. Sting obviously has come into it. And I don't think they'll bring a legend like Sting in to face Triple H at WrestleMania and lose. I can't see that happening in a million years. So once again, I think it's going to be a good versus evil and Sting's going to beat Triple H. I think it's an obvious victory that one. Uh, I think it would have been better if it was Sting versus The Undertaker like last year. I think that would have been cool. Sting put it off and he's only just signed the contract to lose. Sting is coming in and he's going to win. So yeah, Sting against Triple H. Sting victory I think. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, I think it's cool that they've had something like this carry on uh, rather than it just being a flash in the pan uh, as of last year. Uh, it was cool that Cesaro won it this year round. I think you've got like Damian Mizdow who's quite close to it. I think you should have high back. He should be close to winning. Alex it. Riley even. I think he's he was an awesome talent even when he was siding with the Miz and now he's coming back again. I think you should stick him in it and let him win. I don't mind who wins. Maybe Eric Rowan, Dolph Ziggler, Damian Mizdow. I think he's going to win it simply because of all the shit that the Miz has given him over the like past year. Uh, so Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I'm going to say uh, Damian Mizdow. Right, the Intercontinental title match, uh, which is going to be a ladder match. At the minute, you've got Daniel Bryan, Stardust, Dolph Ziggler, Luke Harper, and you've got Dean Ambrose, uh, R-Truth, and uh, Bad News Barrett. Daniel Bryan, he can go um fuck himself. Um, I'm so over Daniel Bryan. He's annoying. He looks like a hobo. He's a tiny little wrestler with a yes chant. He, if he never won a match again, it would be too soon for me. 
Uh, Stardust, I think it should be him and Goldust having a match at WrestleMania. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, potentially. I think they might give it to Dean Ambrose simply because Seth has got the uh, Money in the Bank briefcase. Roman Reigns will have the title, so why not give it to Dean Ambrose? Um, Luke Harper, he doesn't look like a wrestler. He looks like he should be ploughing a field somewhere. Uh, R-Truth, funny character, can't wrestle for shit. Uh, Wade Barrett, pretty cool. Um, he should have won the title years ago, I think, off John Cena when he was in the Nexus. Uh, so yeah, give it to Dean Ambrose, I think. Now, next match is the Phenom versus the new face of Fear. So Bray Wyatt's got a new nickname, uh, and he's going to be The Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. This bores me to tears. Every time Bray Wyatt comes out and he's talking and he's chanting about world eaters and dark souls and all that bollocks, I just fast forward because it's so boring, it's so crap. Husky Harris has come out of nowhere and he's just kicking ass. The Wyatt family was pretty cool. Uh, they're now dismembered. Uh, Bray Wyatt's gone on his own and he's still wearing his stupid hat and his fucking ghoul of bird of prey or whatever it is and his Hawaiian shirts and the guy looks like a twat and now he's facing The Undertaker at Wrestlemania Undertaker hasn't been seen in a year and now all of a sudden he's fighting The Undertaker what they did with the streak was terrible I don't think Brock Lesnar should have beat him um, so now it's, it's like here you go here's the phenom He's not a phenom anymore because he's lost his streak. His magic is gone. You know, what is he now? He's just a man who had a streak, a man who had a cool record. He's now just in a match at WrestleMania. Is it to make him look better? What's it for? You know, he could have gone out on a big high and retired. You know, gone to 22 and 0 or 23 or whatever and retired. But now he's an old man. He's he hasn't been seen for a year, apparently he's really injured and now he's having a fight with Bray Wyatt what's the point? it's going to be a good versus evil evil Bray Wyatt, good Undertaker Undertaker's going to win, he's going to be like here I am, you know, he hasn't seen me for a year, everybody loves me you know, let's play Johnny Cash and I'm going to roll my eyes back and win right, next match is United States Championship match Rusev versus John Cena this is another one that bores me to tears I'm English um, obviously wrestling's American and every week that comes out John Cena, oh I love the United States blah 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 the United States is United States oh I'm proud, the American privilege and rights and all that crap I don't know about it, I don't care I'm patriotic, they're patriotic fair enough but then you come out for months on end for like 3-4 months and you're all oh I love America, oh I love the USA don't say one bad thing or I'll come down and kick your ass and what happens, Rusev blabs a load of crap and he comes down and beats him up. I'm so over it, it's boring. Yeah, we get it, you're patriotic. Rusev, we get it, you're patriotic you're to your country. But that's it, it's patriotic to be to your country. So for people around the world, I don't care about the United States and how patriotic John Cena is. He's patriotic in his own right, fair enough. But then, to drag this on for three months, three or four months of how I love the United States, oh, the United States, this, that, and the other. I don't care, it's boring. I'm done with it. So, United States Championship match, Cena's going to win, of course he is. He's going to win the title. It's, it's going to be interesting because the United States Championship isn't a main event iconic belt. The WWE word of it title is. So John Cena has gone from a main eventer to a middle card guy with a middle card belt. For new guys coming into the company like Rusev, the United States is a big thing. And then the step up. Whereas John Cena has been the United States champion, he's been World Heavyweight Championship, he's now the guy who gets put over by all newcomers coming in, and he's now got the United States title back. So he's gone, he's stepping back. He's gone from the top to the middle. So Rusev's going to lose for the first time in the WWE. John Cena's going to get the belt, celebrate in the crowd, have a USA chant, whatever he does. Here's my predictions. Uh, John Cena to win, Taker to win, Ian Ambrose to win the Intercontinental, uh, Andre the Giant, probably Damian Mizdow, or whatever he's calling himself these days, uh, Sting to win against Triple H, Roman Reigns to beat Brock Lesnar, uh, Randy Orton to beat Seth Rollins, 
um, Paige and AJ to beat the Bella Twins. Thank you very much for watching my video of my WrestleMania predictions. If you agree, let me know down in the comments. If you disagree, let me know. Yeah. My predictions, thanks for watching, guys. Also, read the devoted links down below. As per usual, go check them out. Awesome gear. Use that promo code, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items you decide to buy. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching my something a little bit different WrestleMania predictions. Thanks a lot, guys.